Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from the Rattle Essence channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I have my friend Carlos here with me once again. What's up? And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at a fragrance by the company Tom Ford. This one is called Grey Vetiver and this is the Eau de Parfum, so stay tuned. Now before I start the review, I do want to mention that if you are interested in picking up this fragrance, you may do so from fragrance.com. Uh, they were actually kind enough to provide me with this bottle for review. I asked for this bottle uh, because it's one that I wanted to put in my collection for a while now. And uh, this is a fragrance that came out in September of 2009. According to user votes online, the strongest notes in here are vetiver, woodsy notes, and grapefruit. Mm -hmm. But there are some odd notes in there like pimento, pepper, among others. Now. I'm not a huge fan of vetiver. No, nor am I. Yeah. It's funny that you mentioned that because I have come across a lot of vetiver fragrances in my uh, experience of owning and sampling and trying and whatnot. And there are a few that really stood out to me. Guerlain's vetiver, I think, is of exceptional mm -hmm. quality. Um, I also really like Greylock by Fleur. That one is a little bit more, I don't want to use the word aggressive, but a little more rough and tumble. This one is definitely in the same family as those other two. So if I had to put them all in or pigeonhole them, I would put them in the same category. This just has an overall smoothness about it. Yeah. Some vetivers can be kind of very grassy, Yeah. very smoky, mm -hmm. or very earthy, depending on where the particular vetiver use is sourced from. Yeah. They all have different nuances about them, for sure. Yeah. This is in the smooth category. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's absolutely true. And I like what you said about smoky and earthy. If you think of fragrances like Ancre Noir by Lalique or Sycamore by Chanel, mm -hmm. uh, I know they contain, or I'm pretty sure they contain, an aroma molecule called Vetichex. Mm -hmm. And I have the raw material at home. And uh, it just reminded me immediately of Ancre Noir and Sycamore. And then you also have the really clean varieties like Mugler Cologne and mm -hmm. um, Creed's Original Vetiver. And those are squeaky clean. I mean, I love those. They're so easy to wear. And this is more on the upscale, refined, formal event, suit and tie, shirt and tie kind of a deal. Very polished. Yeah, absolutely. And for that reason, um, I actually prefer wearing this over the more rough and tumble ones. Even though I really like Ancre Noir, I think it's very artistic and very I like daring. I like Strem better. Oh, yeah, Indeed. that's right. That's right. And would you put Sport at the bottom? I haven't tried Sport. <laughs> Yeah, sport is actually nice. It's almost some have called it a watered down version, but um, what do you think of this one? It just evokes immediately a sharp man in a suit and tie, yeah. ready to go on the town and do his yep. thing assertively. Yeah, I think um, a lot of times when you think of the name Tom Ford, you think of a clean cut suit made to measure, mm -hmm. somebody who's you know very confident, very polished, uh, very upscale, knows how to carry him or herself and uh, this one is no exception and for a fragrance that's been out now for you know eight years and it's the second edition there was an old toilet first oh okay I didn't I didn't realize that I didn't know which came first toilet okay cool so this is the eau de parfum which I guess smells the same as the eau de toilet just a little bit more um, concentrated I think this is just got an overall much more smoothness about it and okay. it's got a little more of that full smooth velvet feeling that I get from yeah, it. Yeah, I know what you mean. It seems like the eau de toilettes are a bit more ethereal, where they jump off but your skin. The not bad, the but if you're asking me which one I prefer, I prefer the parfum. But the, the eau de toilettes, just fine. Yeah. There are more people, I think, like this one than the eau de toilette. True, true. Yeah, uh, and in my experience as well, whether it be like Terre d'Hermes or Midnight in Paris, both of those fragrances have, have an eau de toilette and an eau de parfum. I actually enjoy wearing both. You know, I've had the chance to try all four of the fragrances I just mentioned, and uh, two fragrances, uh, f two different concentrations. You mentioned me. one that's really one of my favorite vetivers, because uh, I don't really like vetiver. Yeah, like one? the Terre d'Hermes. Oh, yeah. The Eau de Toilette yeah. and the Eau Fraiche and the Parfum. I, I like them all, and I didn't love it at first. It was one of those that I, a guy, it was a Russian man, walked into my store, smelled like bomb, like he smelled amazing. Yeah, and, you know, yeah. The Russians aren't shy, or at least in my building they're not, about yeah. putting on their fragrance. This guy was like, man, what are you wearing? Um, Hermes, uh, Terre d'Hermes. And I was like, wow. And that's when it clicked in my head. <laughs> yeah. And I think that that one is distinguished by the presence of the citrus. Mm -hmm. It's such sharp citrus, but it's really well done. And this one is more about the woodsy presence. The vetiver and the woods just play together in really mm -hmm. nice harmony. 
And I think we basically summed it up. It's just very formal, high class, it's sophisticated. And simple. It's not, yeah. you're not going to get like a whole bunch of different rides or nuances throughout the fragrance. It's pretty much what it starts off as it ends up as. And that's a really well done vetiver fragrance. That's true. If you want the dark vetiver, you got to go with Ancre Noir. If you want the clean vetiver, Mugler Cologne. If you want something that you can put on, dress to impress, suit and tie, look no further. No doubt. So, Carlos, thank you so much for doing this video with me. I really appreciate it, my brother. And uh, sorry, I didn't do the explosion yeah. there. <laughs> and I do want to mention once more that this review is brought to you by Fragrance.com. So thank you so much for providing us with this bottle. And uh, I would also like to part with a 5 milliliter decan to one subscriber. And all you have to do is, of course, like uh, this video. Make sure to subscribe to both of our channels. Carlos's information is going to be down below as well. And all you need to do is just leave one comment down below and tell me what fragrance would you wear when you're dressed up. Cool. So if you're wearing a nice dress or if it's a shirt and tie, or suit and tie, if you're a gentleman, what fragrance would you like to wear when you're dressed up? And that's Sounds it. good. Good luck, guys. <laughs> so thanks again for tuning in. Remember to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. This way you never miss any of my future content or Carlos's top 10s, giveaways, unboxings, special guests, uh, live uh, videos, all that jazz. Fragrance 247. Yep, 24-7. Thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next episode. Love you guys. Take care. Thank you.